Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. This in-post video is about separating our foreground and background and using luminosity masks to help get that look coming across in our post-processing. You've probably had this situation. You're out at a nice location. Uh, lighting is starting to get either a little bit harsh or flat or otherwise just not the golden hour. Yet you see a scene and it looks really nice and you've got a particular element that you're trying to use to anchor the frame. You take the shot and when you look at your your raw file later on, things just look off, things just look flat. And I've got a photo of that here I took out in Big Sur. And this tree, when I was on scene, was much more prominent to my eye than came through in the photo. And you know, this, this is just all getting lost in the background and it really just loses the, the anchor point of the photo. This is what uh, my main subject was, the tree. So we use some luminosity masks to help coax out some of that detail. First, I did some work to emphasize the tree. And we can see that the tree itself has gotten darker. It's starting to come forward more. And if I hover over on that pin, we can see the luminance mask there. It's really affecting most of just the, uh, the darker parts of the branches. We can see the range mask here. Matter of fact, we might even tweak that just a little bit to see how that adjusts and changes the mask. There we go. And I did use some brush work to make sure I wasn't affecting anything around on the cliffs or so forth with the brushes here using the eraser. And I can even tidy up a little bit more out on this edge where I know I don't need to have any masking happening because that's not part of my tree. I want that tree to be the, uh, the thing that gets impacted. Then I used a second luminosity mask as a counterpoint for the background. Click on that snapshot. And this change is much more subtle. Notice now it's the background that's being affected. And over on the right hand side, you can see that I've raised exposure, a little bit of clarity, and even increased saturation just so the greens that are back there are getting a little more color. And that's a nice counter to the darker parts of the tree. And so added up, this makes the tree jump out in the scene a little bit more and becomes more like what I had seen while I was there and what I envisioned for the photo. I move this cursor out of the way and we'll take a look at before and after. So this is before the changes. And this is after. So just those two luminosity masks really made a difference for the subject. As for the rest of the photo, not one of my stronger pieces. I did a little bit of work on it. I actually threw it through Photo Lemur to let some of the AI magic of Photo Lemur do its work. And it turned out um, you know, pretty okay. Then we'll find a bit of cleanup in on one to remove some of the other hikers on the trail that morning and some of the guardrails that were in the background there. You know, so it's a, it's a nice uh, I was here photo, a, a good memory for me. But the reason I wanted to share it with you was really to, uh, to highlight the luminosity mask approach to leveraging them and bringing out particular subjects, especially those that have gotten lost in a background. So think about that next time you're doing a photo where the subject didn't quite translate from what you saw on scene to what you're seeing in the file your camera captured. And with that, I will thank you for watching the video and happy shooting.